Hey everybody, it's Robbie with Missouri Warm Supply. Happy New Year to you. And if you're like most people, you have black eyed peas for New Year and dinner. Did you have your own black eyed peas come from your garden like we did? We took our shells, we run a little test with it. Stick around and I'll show you how that test went. Hey, it's Robbie with Missouri Warm Supply. We're gonna do a little something different, a little trial test run here. Um, it's after New Year, so more than likely you have black eyed peas and cabbage. What we have in here is some shells from our black eyed peas. And there's black eyed peas, there's purple hole peas, there's cow peas, the Phenomenon brand. Oh, I love those. Anyway, when we're doing our normal garden stuff outside, if we pull some dead leaves off, we throw them back into the bed. We do the chop and drop. Put that back in there, it works as a mulch, it works as a food. It's, it's great. If you have too much of a product, which I don't know there is such a thing, then that'll go out on our compost pile out by the skinning shed. But I'm gonna bring you down here and show you a couple ways that what we do with our old uh, black eye peach shells. Okay, it's not the best angle, but so again, we have our black RP shells. A couple different ways live. You have these little grinders. You take your little grinder, crunch them up in there. This is if you just have something small. It's going to give you that type of material. Now if you got a big blender, sorry about the noise here, folks. All right, we're back. I'll show you what we got. This is what we got from our coffee grinder. Just going to take this and put a little spot right there. Obviously, running through one of these is going to take a lot longer. All right, we made our sludge. Call it our black eye piece sludge. We'll put that in there. The goopy goopy stuff. All right, next, we're going to dump our. That's for our black eye piece shells. Dump them out right there. Now, to make it even, I am going to put these down really good. Mimicking what we're doing is kind of, we're kind of mimicking the same thing that's going to happen in the nature here, but we're speeding up the process. This would just be sitting in there and naturally breaking down, getting dry and cracked. What we're trying to do is help out the worms a little bit. We're going to see if grinding this up to a mulch and wetting it, let it soak a little bit, or throwing it in ground dry and wetting it, or just throwing in our shells. We're going to see which ones work. We'll come back in a couple days and check it out. Take a look. Yep. This here is where the ground up stuff was. Pretty much gone. They're all in to kind of that stuff run through the blender. You see they're all in those two. Well, there's worms all in here, but there's nothing left here at all. They've a shell. There's nothing there no more. Here, let's see what we can find. And they're loving this stuff. That's black eye pea shells. This is two days sitting there. Like I said that one which was ground up, it wasn't as much, but it's gone. That's day two or pile two. And this is the shell. They're all nice and wet. Come back in about two more days. Hey guys, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I want to see a T. Yep. All of the ground up really tight is gone. It almost got this eaten up. Just the big pieces are left. And here is that pile, and they seem to like it. But as you can see from that, they like the black eye peas. Go down here, I took a whole bunch of extra black eye peas stuff. You see there. That was just, I just threw that in there. Uh, 
Okay, this is day six. Let's take a look. All of that. That was the powdered. It's all completely gone. There's what was ground up. It, that was uh, in the mix. That was just uh, in the blender. You see, they've done a really good job on it. They're just still eating it up. Over here was just the full pieces. And you see, they're liking it too. But those black eyed peas, look at those black eyed peas, purple holes in there. Cow peas, field peas. Go down here. You see, I've thrown them in here. Yeah, you can see some of the peas in there. And you see, they're on top of them peas, eh? Apparently, there's something in there that they like. 